clouds in the area. Joining us right now is Vern Thorpe. He is the United Launch Alliance Program Manager for NASA's missions. And uh, Vern uh, is going to talk some about the flight of the uh, Atlas. But uh, Vern, first of all, could you tell us a little bit about where we are in the countdown with the rocket? What are, what are we doing and where do we stand? Sure, George. Uh, we are uh, starting to tank our cryogenic propellants. Uh, we're gonna, going to be putting liquid oxygen and liquid hydrogen on board the Centaur upper stage and liquid oxygen on the Atlas booster. The uh, liquid oxygen on the Centaur upper stage is, uh, we've almost completed tanking that. The tank's essentially full. Uh, we're starting to tank LH2 right now, and uh, we're starting chill down uh, of the uh, transfer lines for tanking locks on the Atlas booster as well. So uh, we are, we're well into that operation, that fueling operation. Well, tell us something about this particular booster. Sure. Well, this... Uh, launch will be ULA's 11th launch of the year and it's actually our fifth launch for NASA. Uh, as you're aware we've had a very intense launch campaign of uh, five, overla five out overlapping campaigns for NASA launches in the last six months uh, of this year. Uh, MSL is the fifth and final and uh, this rocket is a, an Atlas V-541 which I'll tell you a little bit more about when we narrate the video in a moment. Uh, but it's it's been a very busy year and uh, it, it's been a lot of fun. We've been launching uh, rockets for NASA from both coasts, uh, several different configurations right. of vehicles, uh, and uh, we're looking forward to ending the year with this one. Well, if we could go ahead and roll the video and tell us, uh, Vern, tell us what we're seeing as it flies. Sure. This is actually footage from the Juno launch that we flew in August of this year. On August 5th, we launched uh, a NASA mission uh, to Jupiter named Juno. This vehicle is very similar to the one we'll be using today. The one we're flying today has uh, four solid strap-on boosters instead of the five that you see here. Uh, the vehicle will weigh about 1.2 million pounds at liftoff. We'll lift off with about 2 million pounds of thrust. And the first major event that you see right here will be the burnout and separation of the solid rocket boosters. That will happen about a minute and a half into flight. At three and a half minutes into flight, we'll be high enough so that we can jettison our payload fairing and that's the first time the spacecraft uh, will be exposed uh, since it's been put on the vehicle. And that booster will continue to burn until four and a half minutes after liftoff. At that point, we'll have used up all the propellants, we'll shut down the engine, and we'll separate that stage from the Centaur upper stage. Uh, we'll spend a few seconds chilling down the Centaur engine, and then we'll light that engine for the first of two burns. The first burn will last approximately seven minutes, and that will put the vehicle into what we call a low Earth parking orbit. We'll be in an orbit about 91 uh, nautical miles in altitude. And we'll stay in that orbit for 20 minutes till we get to the right position for the second burn. That second burn that you see there will last about eight minutes. And when we're done with that one, we will be on an escape trajectory and MSL will be headed toward Mars. We'll spend a few minutes reorienting the vehicle to the proper separation attitude. We'll separate the spacecraft, and then we'll do a series of maneuvers with the upper stage to uh, to back it away and, and get it into a, a safe orbit. And uh, there's really a, a a reason that we try to to uh, back the the rocket stage out of orbit. Is there? This is uh, part of what we do for for. Yes, this is a, it's a standard maneuver for every launch. We, we call it our CCAM. It stands for Collision and Contamination Avoidance Maneuver. Right. We want to prevent uh, the possibility of any recontact between the upper stage and the spacecraft, of course. And we also want to get far enough away as quickly as we can so that as we uh, vent uh, various propellants to safe the vehicle, uh, none of those uh, have a possibility of contaminating the spacecraft. And then eventually the stage burns up, correct, and it re-enters? Well, for most of the missions that we launch into Earth, Earth orbit, that's true. But when we're flying an interplanetary mission like this, that Centaur stage is going interplanetary as well. Oh. So we'll do uh, a series of analyses to make sure that the final orbit we put it in uh, won't, uh, again, cross paths with the spacecraft in the future. And also, uh, d we make sure that it doesn't have any chance of, uh, of uh, hitting Mars itself. So it'll be in what we call a safe orbit, but it'll be an, uh, an interplanetary safe orbit around the sun. Well, Vern, thank you very much. And uh, we are all hoping that our countdown continues to go as uh, 
smoothly. It looks like uh, they're getting started on loading the um, oxygen onto the uh, Atlas stage. So uh, at this point, Vern, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very thank much, George.